welcome to a new episode of the Wooly Thistle Shopcast. This is episode 124, I believe. If you're wondering how we got to 124 so quickly, I decided last time just to continue adding on from where the audio podcast left off. So we're on episode 124. We also decided to start numbering them so that we could refer to them easily uh, because that was proving to be a little bit challenging if we were directing someone to an episode. Um, so anyway, we have numbers now and that's a good thing. So thank you so much for joining us this time. Sorry, I'm in a creaky chair. I'll try not to move around too much. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching again. <laughs> and I hope you're well. I'm recording this on Labor Day weekend and it will be out on September 11th. Uh, and there's lots of good stuff coming. September is so exciting in the knitting world. Uh, and if you're a knitter, you're in for lots and lots of treats. So be sure to keep watching to find out what they all are. But thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing to our channel and uh, thank you too for joining our email list. It's really important that if you like the Wooly Thistle that you join our email list because that is how I communicate with you most steadily and, um, and that's how I get my stuff out to you the best. Right, so we have a winner from last time. Uh, last time I didn't even say that we were going to do a giveaway, but I think it's pretty well established that we do a giveaway every episode. So thank you to everyone who left comments. It's just lovely, uh, all those comments in there. And uh, I picked a winner at random and we have Karen Hagar. I love seeing your Hansel hat. I'm just about to start my second one. They make lovely baby, baby blankets. My niece said it was great for swaddling. So thank you, Karen, for entering. You are the winner. Just send us an email to info at thewoollythistle.com. Uh, put winner in the subject line. So, and if you do it all caps, even better. And we will uh, find your email and get your gift certificate out to you. So congratulations. And thank you so much for leaving a comment. And about your Hansel hat, I have news on my Hansel hat front for you today. Right, what do we want to get going with? So before I forget again, uh, we will do another giveaway with the next episode so to be entered to win and I'm going to make it a surprise prize this time so be sure to leave a comment subscribe to our channel and leave us a thumbs up as well and then you're entered to win that giveaway and it will be a surprise so those are the best all right let's talk about what I'm knitting on right now uh, we will get to the shop update part very quickly but I want to show you what I'm knitting so finished objects I have nada nothing nout um, but I have works in progress still so right now I'm knitting St. Mary Mead socks by this handmade life who's Olivia Olivia is just a beautiful human being and she makes the most beautiful things I have a couple of her uh, patchwork blankets and I have a lovely little embroidery she also made us uh, project bags way back in the beginning and she designs socks and she has a new collection out right now um, and but I went back to her old collection or older collection of uh, Miss Marple socks because I'm a huge Miss Marple fan and these are St. Mary Mead socks and they're so pretty I actually changed it up a little bit isn't that pretty though and uh, there they are from the side I changed it up a little bit because I think my gauge I don't know it was far too wide for my foot and I have wide feet um, to knit the uh, the number of repeats that are in the pattern but it was easy enough to just uh, take off the end ones and it still ended up very pretty uh, I knitted this in and I'm I'm about I'm shaping the heel right now these are toe up so on this one I'm shaping the heel and beginning to um, there's no left or right sock drama this time <laughs> which is good unless I start you know doing the heel here which which is completely uh, not out of the question so I'm knitting these in Rama Gamal Zeri which I wanted to test out as a sock yarn um, this is their traditional high twist sock yarn. It does feel much more uh, robust than anything else. Um, it's got great, you know, look at that. I think that's gonna be bulletproof. And the heel, let's see where I wanna put this. Yeah, let's see. 
I actually mashed up the heel too. This is more um, hay brown berries from the before and after socks. I did her heel here and I really like this heel. It was a fun to knit, easy to knit and a good shape. But yeah, so anyway, back to the yarn. This yarn is really, really good. It is, um, and I'll put the color here, but 100% uh, wool, Norwegian wool, higher twist than say fennel garn, and it's pretty rustic feeling. Um, so it's not the softest yarn, it's not a merino, but you don't want a merino, I don't think, so much uh, in a sock yarn, because then you have to start putting nylon and whatnot in there. So this is 100% natural, the Norwegians have been knitting socks with this yarn for a long, long time. So it has stood the test of time. And I hadn't knit a pair of socks yet. So I'm very much enjoying knitting with them. At the tight gauge at first, and I'm knitting these on zeros. I had to go down to size zero to even get gauge and still take off stitches. But um, I think my gauge, I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, I made it work. And it's a lovely pattern, very easy to follow and adjust if you need to, like I did. Um, yeah, so Norwegians have been knitting socks with this for a long time. So I'm gonna enjoy wearing these. And isn't that a pretty color? We have this color in Rama Fennel Garn too. And some of you are knitting vanilla sweaters in this. Just beautiful, just beautiful. Oh, what am I wearing talking of vanilla sweaters? Because we don't mention vanilla sweaters often enough do we <laughs> yeah so this is 4128 knitted in rama fennel garn of course and i just love this sweater and i'm so happy to be wearing it because it's september and no matter how warm it is or that it's labor day weekend i'm wearing a sweater and it's all good um so that's what i'm knitting on or those socks and i'm also still knitting on my hansel hat <clears throat> And you'll remember uh, that last time I bravely talked about how I'm not a perfectionist and I was gonna let things slide that I wasn't happy with on the corners. Well, turns out I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, I guess. I'm not a raging perfectionist, but I guess I do have standards. And when I looked at my corners again, cause I, I really had not picked this up for quite a while because, uh, because I wasn't happy with the corners and it was in a time out. And when I looked at it again, you know, I picked it up and was knitting on it, but when I really looked at it again, I thought, you know, I'm not gonna be happy with that. Might as well rip it back. So I did rip it back all the way back to the original diamond, and then I picked up stitches again. And I think part of my problem originally was that I might've been a little bit off on the number of stitches on the decreasing side. So I couldn't make the pickup stitches exact like the pattern. But enough time had passed and I had percolated, which is what I do. And I figured out how to just make sure that I had the right number of stitches, even if I didn't finish or start off with the right number, I figured it out. And while I was at it, <clears throat> I changed up the colors a little way, a little bit. So I've knit quite a lot of the border since ripping it back. And you can see that right now it's all grays. The darker is, this is in Jameson and Smith two ply, and the darker is 54 and the lighter is 27. 27 I'm knitting right off the cone, but 54 is a ball and I ran out of 54, which is why I have now stalled out. And you will see that I do need to have stitch markers at every lace repeat. Um, lace is my Achilles heel. I, I will go way off all the time with lace. So that's a corner right now. Let's have a look at that. See, I'm much happier with, with that. <laughs> they're not perfect at all, but they're much better. Um, but yeah, you can see the sort of waviness coming together. And I am still going to use the gold and the cream, but I wanted to get going with the grays. I just really enjoyed that. So these are the two colors that will, oops. Here we go that and there'll be a little bit of that but it's mostly going to be this which i really like it's gentle and soothing and very very nice and then this will be the pop of color so um i might have finished that by the next time we meet that would be really good i've got to remember to pick up another ball of 54 while i'm here in the shop so that i can knit on this over the weekend I'm going to enjoy this when it's done though. I'm feeling much, much, much happier with it now that I did go back. So I think the moral of that story is 
you know, if something's bothering you slightly, you have to assess whether or not you can live with it. And before you finish it, <laughs> decide whether you're going to use it like it is or whether you really should just spend the time and rip back. I often feel that um, knitting is knitting and whether I'm knitting something for the third time because I can't get it right or you know, I'm knitting brand new stitches on something. It's all knitting and it's really the knitting that I enjoy. So I really don't mind too much whether I'm knitting something for the third time or the first time. It doesn't, doesn't seem to bother me too much. So I did go back and do that. So I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, but not a raging perfectionist. <laughs> so that's what I'm knitting on right now. Let me tell you what else um, I've got going here. Although I do want to tell you something I want to knit. And I'm putting a picture of it here. I saw this on Instagram again. Um, this is such a lovely, lovely chicken and um, it's knit in DK. So I think I have to whip one of these up. Um, and the person, I can't remember whose Instagram it was I saw it on, but she had filled the bottom of her chicken with a packet of Goya beans, which I thought was brilliant. So, you know, you're weighted. It could be like a little doorstop, but a great use for Goya beans. So, <laughs> so I'm going to do that. I am going to do that. Uh, so that will be getting on the needles just as soon as I get the pattern. So now it's time for the shop cast and all the goodies of September that have come in or are about to come in. I'm really excited about all the good offerings we have for you. So first up is the Shetland Wool Week Annual, which the organizers of Shetland Wool Week put out every year and they have done, I think this is their sixth year. And the Woolly Thistle is honored to be um, their US uh, retailer of that and so you can get it here and we actually have it on pre-order now and many of you have signed up and purchased your copy so that when they come in in October hopefully is when we hope to get them that's what we're hearing is the news uh, so in October we will get them in and we will ship them right out to you so do feel free to order your pre-order from the Woolly Thistle. You can add other items to your purchase as well. Um, we'll just ship everything out when the uh, Shetland Wool Week comes in. And it's promising to be another beautiful edition. The patterns and the articles in Shetland Wool Week are just so good. And I have knit from them, uh, I, yeah, quite a lot. So um, yeah, so that's coming and it's available now as a pre-order. Also on pre-order right now is Pom Pom Quarterly number 34 and this has guest editor uh, Ocean Rose who is a beautiful Instagrammer and um, an indie designer from London I think. I think she's in London. So yeah, so we are taking pre-orders for that right now. That'll be out very soon. And By Hand Magazine is here now and if you ordered that as a pre-order that should be on its way to you. They just came in. And oh, always such a good, beautiful, um, colorful uh, pictures. She does a really nice job with her color and her photos. And this edition is coming from Northern California. And it's just a feast for the eyes. And I know that they've been having a lot of fires up there. And so our thoughts are with them for sure. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So By Hand Magazine is in now, so you can get hold of that. Okay, so medieval inspired knits. I saw this and thought, you know, we have to have this. Um, I love the um, premise of it. So they take these beautiful medieval um, photos, uh, not photos, medieval paintings and drawings and they, t they take an element from it and turn it into design and knitwear and then, you know, have a finished object. So I think that the history in this book will be really interesting, um, the art history of it and some really fun designs. Is, oh my gosh, yeah, look at it. This is called Broma Starry Sky Sweater. Yeah, that is really, really nice. So I'm going to enjoy having a good look. This just went in the shop, so I'm needing to have a proper look through that. Also just in the shop is socks from around Norway. So this is going to be good too. This came in just, just now too. Oh, baby socks. Cute little lacy baby socks. There's a lot of uh, 
soft patterns that are not color work, which is nice. Look at it, lovely. Cables. Of course there's color work. Wow, these are really fun. So this is socks from around Norway and you can get that now at the Woolly Thistle. And also because it's the season of holiday knitting for the loved ones in your life, perhaps, I'm, I'm over that pretty much. I'm, I'm, I'm my loved one when it comes to knitting. But um, many of you will be knitting for little kids and this book is a really good way to go. Um, there's lots of mittens, hats, socks and glove patterns in here. And it's a good staple for kid knits. So I got that in for you. Also, uh, we have uh, Nordic Knits by Berger Berg um, here, and that is still on a wait list. We're not expecting that to come out until October either, and probably the end of October, but we will start pre-orders for that very soon. But many of you have listed your intentions to order that by joining the wait list. Of course, there's no commitment on your part when you join the wait list. It's just, it's a good handle for me to know uh, what the interest is and how many I should order in, and hopefully everybody gets what they want. But you don't have to, of course. Um, you are just signing up to know when it goes on sale. So that's good. 52 Weeks of Socks is finally here and uh, we have been shipping those out this week and we continue to ship them out. We have an awful lot to get through and we are working diligently on that. So if you ordered a pre-order, it's on its way to you very soon, if not already. Uh, we only, I, actually at the time that this goes live, I don't know if we have any left, but uh, we will order more in so that if you want one, you can still get one. I think that will be a good staple to have in the shop. And also coming from Lina very soon is MJ Mucklestone's book, and I cannot wait. I'm very excited about this, this particular book. MJ is lovely. She's a great designer of color work, and I think it's really inspired that she's working with Lina to um, get her book published. Uh, she's had books before. Um, I think this is her first foray into independent publishing, which is great. And uh, many of the yarns she uses are available at the Woolly Thistle. Her styling and everything is very much um, in our wheelhouse. So I'm very, very happy that she is uh, coming out with this book. And we've been seeing sneak peeks on Instagram and I'm so excited. So as soon as I'm able to have that in the shop, either as a pre-order or just getting the book in when it's ready, I don't know yet. Yet. I'm waiting to hear. Um, we will do that. We will have it available for you. Lacquer Lioness. Uh, we are waiting for it to come over. They are still spinning up a little bit of uh, some of the colors, but I've had my order in and they know that we are waiting for that. So that is coming. Thank you so much for your patience. Hopefully, um, we get it in, in good enough time. Uh, so by the time you're seeing this um, on Friday the 11th, um, Blacker's Birthday Yarn will have just released this very day. They set the date of 9-11 and I will be selling it as of that date too. So their new birthday yarn, and these are the colors, just gorgeous, is called Cove. Um, they're naming their range after the small beaches and and little um, inlets and things around Cornwall as Cove. And it's just a lovely, uh, beachy, watery, um, Cornwallian <laughs> color palette. Very, very pretty. And they're offering it in four ply, as well as chunky white. Maybe this one will be easier to see the difference in white. There you go. So let me show you through the colors. Um, there's seven colors uh, of which one is an undyed natural. And this is that. And I'm showing you these in the four ply white. Uh, these are samples. The actual uh, skeins come in 100 gram skeins. And then we have this lovely light pale blue. And then a lovely bright pale blue too. Really nice. And then a slightly darker. And then the darkest. 
So to me, you know, this is going to be great for color work and a lovely gold. So all together, there are seven colors and I'm going to tell you what's in them in just a minute. But don't they go well together? But you don't have to have all of them together naturally. I mean, you could do any of them together. <laughs> That's very nice. That is really nice. Good contrast. Oh, that is so pretty. Let's see. That is nice. Sorry about my creaky chair. So you can see that they all play well together. They all stand alone as well. You could knit a sweater out of this and it would be really lovely. I like this one. Really, really fun. Right. Yeah. And I have a couple of samples of the chunky here in the natural. Wouldn't these make up nice quick knits of hats, cowls, mittens? All right, so I'm going to tell you what is in this gorgeous yarn because um, Blacker's Birthday yarn is always a very special blend, resulting in a beautiful, beautiful yarn. Uh, but there's quite a little bit in this one, so I'm going to read from it. It says, it's a woolen spun yarn with a blend of around 7% English Merino, which is the very last available from Annabelle Spencer, whose yarn was also in the Cornish Garden yarn from last year. Uh, then there is 36% each of Norfolk Horn, which is a listed rare breed from a single flock, and Shetland from seven small flocks. So 36% Norfolk Horn, 36% Shetland, and 7% Merino. And the balance is made up with a favorite blue face Leicester, also from a single flock. So this yarn is made from single flocks. Uh, Norfolk Horn, which is a rare and uh, endangered breed, and it's a single flock, uh, as well as a very small flock of Shetland as well. Seven small flocks. So yes, a beautiful birthday yarn. It's here, it's uh, ready to go, and it went on sale today. We also have now Making Stories uh, 4, which is a beautiful uh, magazine from Germany. And the Woolly Thistle distributes that magazine across America to um, local yarn stores. And if you would like your local yarn store to carry it, they just need to get in touch with us and we will do that with them. Or you can buy it direct from the Woolly Thistle. John Arben Exmoor Sock Yarn will be coming back to us very soon. We're just waiting for that to get finished up at the mill. Um, and we're excited we'll be getting lots of that in because we know you like it so much. I do too. And we're also getting top from them. We're just waiting for some of that to get spun up. We have Devonia coming again as well. And yeah, we love John Arben. Um, he does a, a fantastic job. So I'm very excited to be stocking a bit more of his stuff as well. Uh, more sock yarn in stock is uh, the Merino Yak from Regia. This is their premium and this is 100 grams. And uh, I wanted to show you this color because this sold out right away when we got it in. And uh, so we ordered more of it. So it's back in stock along with uh, lots of other colors too. But isn't that pretty? I'm really liking the blues, the sort of oceany, tealy blues. Very nice. I also wanted to show you that for the first time, and hopefully they're in the shop by the time we see this, um, are cones of Jameson and Smith Supreme. Uh, we do have two ply as well in naturals, but I got in some Supreme because um, this yarn is really lovely. Uh, it usually, if you're buying it on the ball, comes in 50 gram balls. It is slightly heavier than the two ply, but it plays very well together. I've knitted them both together in the same uh, project. My, um, oh, I can't think what it's called, but you know, I've done it several times anyway. So we have these three colors. The cream is 2001. The gray is 2003, which is the base I used, the color I used for the Silver Forest by Jen Stein Gas. And then this here is 2008. And they smell good. They smell of the mill. 
So if you're, you know, if you're planning to knit a nice big project, whether that's a blanket or a sweater, um, and you don't mind having a little bit of leftovers for other projects, like a hap maybe, um, then this is a good way to go. It's very economical and you feel like the real deal when you're knitting from a big old cone. So yeah, we did get those in and those should be in the shop. And I want to mention quickly, uh, kit wise, we have uh, the vanilla sweater. Here is my sweater that I'm wearing right on the front there. That's color 4128. And then this green here is 4130. Uh, we try to keep our stocks of uh, Rama coming in. So if we're out of stock, we should be getting more. I think it always does pay for you to get in touch though and say, you know, I'm waiting for this to come back in. Will you be getting it? Uh, and that makes sure we get it on our order with them. And uh, the Highland shawl, the Highland thistle shawl by the Wooly Needle. Uh, we made up little yarn sets for, uh, for those and those are doing great. So you get four skeins of Tuku wool and you get, of course, the Wooly Thistle tote bag to put it all in. Um, and you can knit this in any of the Tuku colors you'd like. If we don't have one made up for you, just send us an email at info at the Wooly Thistle and we'll make you up a lovely wee order and you get the bag, which is kind of nice. So that is that. And uh, thank you for all your love of the nail polishes. We have all three, at least at the time of recording, we have all three colors in stock. We have the uh, flagship colors, which are purples, we have reds and we have pinks and they all have really great names. And now brand new are these three greeny blues. And there's definitely a theme going on, isn't there? It's funny because that's completely subconscious but I'm seeing it. So I will tell you what these three are called because that's one of the funnest things about these. So starting with the lightest, which I think is really nice. This is called Yarn Snob. Because that is what we are. Or maybe we're not. Let me give this one a shake. This one is called Frog It. <laughs> and this lovely darker one is castonitis. So yeah, you get your set of three in the mail. Great stocking stuffers, which I just, I cringe I'm saying stocking stuffers. There's a little time before we have to start worrying about the holiday shopping, I hope. Anyway, we'll be ready for you, but that's a whole other thing. Yeah, so now we have four ranges of colors and they're all at the Wooly Thistle for you. So have fun, buy them for yourself, buy them as gifts, buy them for stocking stuffers, they're great for that. Yeah, so we'll have more Rama Fennel Garn coming in, we'll have more Tuku, Lopi, uh, so we'll have more Alcida yarn sets. Um, we're definitely getting into the season for lovely Lopi. And uh, Jameson and Smith, we are keeping uh, very well stocked back here. Uh, so we're doing our best to, to stay ahead of uh, of demand so that we have as much as we can have in stock for you so that you don't have to wait but uh, we do try to keep things going that if you do have to wait it's not as long as it might be so just let us know when you're waiting for something you can always click on the notify me link that's in the product page of the item that's out of stock we are working very hard to try and have a full shop for you. We don't like waiting ourselves, so we understand. Um, yeah, so things to keep an eye out for coming down the pike will be MJ Mucklestone's book uh, from Lina, cannot wait. And um, uh, Burgerberg's book, uh, Nordic Knits going live as a pre-order and um, Shetland Wool Week will be a pre-order by the time you see this, so make sure you get your copy while you can. And we have priced it competitively, uh, taking into account what you'd pay for shipping, bringing it over yourself and things like that. Well, I think all I have left to say is, if you go out, take your knitting and wear a mask. I hope you keep well and I'll see you again in a couple of weeks. Be sure to sign up for our newsletter uh, so that I can keep in touch with you that way. And when you email us back, when you've received an, an, an email from us, we, we read them and we can talk with you and we can get whatever it is you're looking for or anything like that. If you have suggestions, we take them on board. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great couple of weeks and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now.